We're at New Fira Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the thrills. Ah, it sure does get cold here in Snuffalo. Did you know that when the NFL first started, its very first season, a Snuffalo player suffered a high quarters ass capitation? Yeah, it was, it was seven when he was tackled and, and it froze before he hit the ground. And thus the saying was born to freeze one owns ass up. Let's play some football. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Newt London Patriots take on the Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Defense holds him to a four yard pickup there. Third and four. Smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and eight. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and ten. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and ten. You've got to catch that. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Straight through the uprights.
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Third down and forever. pick up a first down so now they have to punt nice punt should move them back nicely he's got the ball now let's see what he does with it you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim nope well i have on several occasions not surprising multiple times on each occasion not surprising and trust me that hit was worse And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it's good here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them not a bad kick but not a great one either well his nickname is lukewarm and he's proud of that yeah that's why he named his clothing company lukewarm threads team hates it and it's first and ten and he runs it for four yards second down and six up about six on the play third down in a sliver don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking i mean when they're not young First and ten. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was 
was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Skittle, Skittle. I am a hell of a fellow. Third down and never going to happen. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see if he... Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Well, B, five, four, four. I'm not finishing that joke, Rip. The only low-hanging fruit is on that ginormous. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. First and eight to go. Second down and nine. Wow, the quarterback just threw it. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, I love this dirty trick. T5 Bofum. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Third down and five. First down. Give this guy a few catches. 
watches and watches confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, but it keeps coming. But he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline ain't moving. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Wow, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And that is called for a first down. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And it's first and ten. He drops it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? You moron. I am so confused. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. <laughs> Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Disagree. Well, are you just saying that because he'd rip your face off and use it for book binding? I don't see how that's not a valid reason. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And that'll bring up second and one. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Caught for the first down. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. It's a whole lot of player right there. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blaster. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball game. It shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. and long offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. makes a grab for five yards. Oh. 
third down and the QB is saying his prayer. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. First and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and seven. Holds him to a four yard pick up there. Third down and three. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. That's a six yard gain. Third and four. And he'll 
He'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. There aren't too many players that can Oh, and he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. Oh, that's huge! Looks like the defense has it. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The ten! called a time warp dirty trick and now it's like everything that just happened didn't get Brick's mom on the phone quick I want to eat I personally think the time warp defense didn't give an inch no gain on that play <laughs> second down and ten Gets three yards on that run. And they'll bring up third down and seven. Second down and five. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. And that'll bring up third and one. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pick. And this rep is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. down and well and they've had enough the offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref third down and the offense needs a miracle gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. <laughs> and 
And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And, it's, and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's for QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up with the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. The defender says, I don't think so. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and six. Snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! In your bank of it. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kicker is going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. First and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four.